You're watching a special inauguration edition of Style Gestapo with our fashion experts. Entertainment Weekly fashion editor, Ron Bay. Daughter of someone famous, Jerry Halston. And senior fashion editor at The Blaze, Grant Yesterly. Show us your fashion papers, please. It's the Style Gestapo. Welcome back. Tonight, we finally take down the dowdy, average-looking wives of politicians. That's right, we're talking inauguration gowns. Okay, gang, Michelle Obama, I think she looks stunning in her gown, okay? She's been very classically dressed, reminiscent of like a Jackie Kennedy, but this was new and spicy, okay? It shows off her great figure and the color looks amazing. As someone who makes fun of what people wear for a living, as in that's my only job in life, I've got to say, just the notion of a ball gown on a first lady is kind of like, why do we fight a revolution against the monarchy? Am I right? All right, look, if you just accept the notion that Barack Hussein Obama was legally elected president and that those two people are married, I, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Let's move on to 1993. Here's Hillary Clinton. Benghazi. Ba this color works for Barbara Bush, but I think it's too bold for Clinton's bulldog exterior. She's too bold. She's scaring me, okay? Stick with the green you wore at the hearings, Hillary. It was very warm and friendly. Totally. This looks very mother of the bride to me, I think. Not that I've ever been married or invited to a wedding, so I have no context for my comment. <laughs> okay, how about this? Notice how this dress does nothing to address Vince Foster's murder. White water. That should tell you something. Okay, let's take a look at Mamie Eisenhower, who's wearing a peach ball gown with crystals. Now, I'm the daughter of someone famous, so let me give my expert opinion. This dress looks stupid. I uh, took the words out of my mouth, girlfriend, and by that, I mean my only friend. I hate this gown. Mamie, what are you thinking? Answer me, Mamie. Peach Pepto-Dismal, <laughs> am I right? She isn't wearing the dress, it's wearing her. No offense, Mamie Eisenhower, if you're watching, but you're a little boxy to be a model. Three words, two-finger diet, Ugh. okay? I once lost 12 pounds in an hour so I could walk the red carpet at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Respect yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right now, arms are being shipped from Angola into Turkey. Fast and the Furious 2. Think about it. Eric Holder and where is he? Senior Frogs. Dude, it's a cover. A response. It's a response. Oh my gosh, you're feisty. So feisty. I cover fashion for the Blaze. So. Oh, is that the. Um, oh God. It's not. It has nothing to do with gay rights. It's not a gay rights. Okay. Well, let's move on to Helen Taft. Who looks so cute? <laughs> she is. So small, I just want to tie her to a colorful leash and walk her like a chihuahua. I mean, I hear Helen Taft was two feet, six inches tall, so jealous, okay? I love a tiny little human saying, look at me, world! You can tell that she's feeling it so hot, so sexy. Oh boy, I'd switch parties for her. <laughs> Let's remember the Bay of Pigs, huh? Who's talking about that? Who's asking the question, why a bay? No one is. Okay, finally, and let's take a look at Martha Washington. She looks like garbage. She actually looks like total trampy garbage. I mean, it might as well be George in a wig. I'm perfect and everyone else, especially Martha, stinks. <laughs> I'll add my opinion so I finally feel like I'm a part of something. She looks awful. Oh, oh that collar is so 1788. Martha, get it together, girl. No one likes me because I say awful things all the time and I'm incredibly lonely. Uh, it should be said her husband was a great man, but Martha Washington, you're a garbage monster. Join us next week as we look at the style evolution of Jennifer Lawrence. Good night. CFM. Jennifer Lawrence got a text message on 9-11 that said stay out of New York. Jenniferlawrenceinfo.com.